Hello, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is going to be a reading for you lovely water babies, and we're going to be looking at what is uh, the intuitive message from uh, for you from Spirit. And, of course, it's going to be more uh, based on love. So we're going to be looking at the love energies. And, of course, if you're dealing with certain signs, certain energies, we're going to see what comes up here um, for you. Uh, in regards to these signs and these people's energies so um, if you enjoy this content please leave behind a like um, you can also subscribe to the channel that would be amazing um, otherwise let's have a look and see uh, what's coming up for you water signs uh, okay something is, is hanging in the balance Okay, very powerful. Um, I feel like this is a very critical time in your love life right now, um, and just a critical time in general. Yeah, things are definitely hanging in the balance here for you. Um, okay. Because you have that major arcana as, as in the hangman, so your world is about to be fl flipped upside down. or Someone's going to come in here and really really mix things up here for you really change things up mix things up okay you're coming up as the hangman and the full massive lesson in love that's to be learned so everything that's hate uh, that's happening right now around you is shaping you up for a massive lesson there is a lesson you need to learn during this time okay i feel like the person you were connected to the universe is sent to you for a reason and i feel like it's really built up to this time like i feel like the message here for you is that right now things have been things are on there things are at a standstill is what i'm getting i feel like you're in you're in for a bit of a shock here water signs because you may find out something that's going to be pretty pretty crucial um pretty special for you okay pretty um pretty stand out is what i'm getting so things have been turned on their head yes but things are also going to be exposed now i feel like in general uh, generally speaking i feel like your life is about to change and i think uh, this key person this connection that you're dealing with right now has a lot to do with that i feel like they're going to unlock the door to a new life here for you so it's pretty big right um Okay, let's look at if you're dealing with a um, with an air sign. This person has come up as the Five of Swords with the King of Swords. Okay, so this this air sign is maybe starting drama with you for a reason. Okay, I see like them arcing up uh, for one reason or another, and I feel like it could be an argument. It could be. Um, something that they want to say i feel like there's been something on their mind that they want to communicate here to you um and you know they're dying to tell you this i feel like it could be an air sign that reveals a secret but i feel like um with the five of swords something about an inner conflict that they're experiencing um and they're sort of wanting to, wanting you to know uh, wanting you to know about or wanting to sort of um wanting to sort of talk to you about something that's very important to them. So I feel like they have some sort of proposal or some sort of idea um, that they sort of want to bring to you. But I feel like there's some animosity built up around this idea. There's some there's some sort of tense kind of energy um, in terms of how they're feeling. So to be honest, I feel like I feel like they're anxious over you. And a part of it feels like they may be losing you or they may be losing touch with you. And that's obviously getting to them. Um, yeah, it's obviously upsetting them to a, to, yeah, to quite a huge degree. So, yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a funk with an air sign that I'm sensing, but I feel like you will have a very serious conversation. It's coming up around this period and you'll be able to work through some things with this person. So, you know, I feel like there's there's something here that's definitely coming up that's on their mind that they're going to vocalize, and I feel like they're super anxious to do it. So I won't be surprised if they want to lock you down here, maybe. Um, so I, I feel like a text or a message or a call is definitely coming from that person. Um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person has come up as the Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, and Five of Wands. Okay. There's a fire sign here who is extremely attracted to you and promise themselves they wouldn't jump into a relationship they wouldn't get feelings for you 
but this person can't fight it any longer. It's almost like they've tried to fight their feelings for so long and they just can't do it. It's like they're having a hard time trying to defend or fight their own feelings for one reason or another. So I'm sensing that this this Aries Sag or Leo, which you had a Leo come up, um, you know, you had a, uh, an Aries as well with the Fool. I'm sensing that this person is like, it goes against everything they said to themselves. So I feel like you weren't normally this fire signs type, and this is someone who's very attracted to you, right? But and they told themselves, okay, I can't develop feelings for this water sign, but they've literally thrown all of that out the window. I don't know what you've done to them, but the effect you've had is profound. Like they are literally not only lusting over you, but they're starting to develop a lot more feelings. Coming up as the Queen of Wands, I do feel like they're going to take the initiative um, to get something going with you. I see them taking initiative and I actually see you rolling out with this person and spending more time together. And I feel like you're going to reach some sort of physical mark like um, intimacy or physicality, you're going to reach a level where you're becoming super intimate with each other. And I also feel like they're going to grow more possessive. So they're going to start maybe calling you their girlfriend, boyfriend. Uh, they're going to be like touching you when you're out in public. Like they want to claim you is what I'm getting. Like they want everyone to know that you are theirs and they are yours. So um, it's a powerful energy, but I feel like the five of ones, they're going against something here something that they stand for so it could be like you've got different cultures or um you know you're doing different things but to be honest i feel like yeah i feel like it's going against everything they've known um or everything they they thought they knew um about what they wanted in love so you really come in there and you've really um you've really shaken them to their core here absolutely and i feel like seven of ones is telling me that's a protective energy um but I really feel like some of you might even be um, meeting someone. I feel like a travel link or a foreign lover, a long distance person, but they're under a fire sign, strong fire energy. So maybe like um, sun, is, sun and rising of Venus is fire uh, coming through very strongly. But let's move over to uh, the uh, earth signs. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, has come up as the king of pentacles the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so they're going from the four to the eight to the king um okay look to be honest i feel like an earth sign has grown or they want to prove to you that they're growing or changing it's like there's an earth sign here who wants to prove to you or show to you that they can look after you and i feel like it's a more serious kind of energy i do feel like this earth sign is doing it to sort of manipulate you to get them to to get you to fall in love with them more so they're definitely aware of what they're doing i think it's a more sensible kind of energy but i think if you're dealing with this earth sign um they do want to make uh things official with you okay but i feel like the way they're doing it it's sort of like them wanting to show to you um or prove to you that they're serious that they've grown you know we've got that king of pentacles here so it's that growth kind of energy i'm also getting the word gesture that's coming to me so get ready i feel like they're going to do like this grand gesture like a handwritten letter um a poem they might write a song for you they might declare their love for you it's all part of their plan though so i feel like i do feel like they're seeing their future plans with you and i do feel like they are thinking about these plans so yeah they're obviously they're obviously thinking about the future um and they're obviously thinking about where they want to take this connection in this relationship so i feel like something's shifted within this person in a positive way but i also see like growth um and i feel like i'm getting the word hard working so they're going to work harder towards this relationship they're going to step up um, essentially is what i'm seeing now water signs if you're dealing with a water energy um this person has come up as the six of cups so i'm seeing a past lover maybe okay so we have a water sign x or someone who's super emotional that's coming back into the picture um i feel like 
there's someone here who's going to pop up that you haven't heard from in a while. And I feel like they're in a nostalgic energy, so they're really missing you. Um, they're going to be very sweet, is, is what I'm getting. So it could be someone that is an ex, someone you've wanted kids with, or someone you knew from a very long time ago. But the Six of Cups can also be this meeting someone new. So some of you might be, if you're not dealing with any sign, you might be meeting a water sign here. And you know what? You two are just going to click. It's going to be like you've known each other for a long time. They have a sweetness and innocence about them because they're coming up as a child. So this is really beautiful because it's telling me this person is sweet. Um, they're pure. They they could be younger than you. They're a bit of a younger kind of energy. But um, I do get it's a bit of a fantasy here. So I don't know. It could be like you might fulfill some fantasies here with a fellow water sign could be intimate fantasies, it could be something you've always wanted to do. Um, I feel like there is this water sign who is trying to fulfill those fantasies, but I also feel like there's someone coming up next with a child around them somehow, um, and you're going to be involved with them. Hmm, so... You're going to be involved. There's a child involved here. I mean, it may even be a lesson, um, a lesson that has to be learned uh, between the both of you here. Mm, that strong past life vibe as well. But to be honest, I feel like I'm getting a vibe that it's an, that it's an ex. Uh, it's an ex that's coming back into the picture or wants to uh, come back into the picture here as the as the six of cups. Okay, that's very sweet, but let's see what, what uh, advice Spirit has for you. What's the advice from Spirit? Okay, Four of Swords, King of Cups, and Nine of Cups. Okay, you've got the Wish card, really powerful, strong Piscean link here. So there's something about a dream that you had. I feel like your intuition is, is kicking in here. The Spirit wants you to follow your intuition, especially anything to do with, like, dreams or premonitions. They're going to be um, coming up. They're going to be popping up a lot here for you, uh, and there's a reason why. So you have to hone in on that, um, hone in on that energy and... and um, uh, you know, listen to yourself because this is spirit. This is the universe uh, that's essentially guiding you. Um, but I feel like the King of Cups is, is, does speak about depth and it does speak about love. So I feel like whatever sort of things have been turned around here for you, I feel like love is coming your way or you're going to finally see the depths of your love. So a lot to do with your perspective here. Seeing things in a different light, you're feeling your emotions, you're you're reaching emotions in new cycles, in new depths, in new energies. So yeah, to be honest, I feel like this is powerful because if you're going from the four of swords, kind of things were quiet, things were on the down low, things weren't really moving. I really feel like it's been a wish of yours for things to pick up, for things to change, for things to increase. And what I love here is that the King of Cups is reaffirming um, reaffirming that to us. But the turtle swim one way, the fish swim another. This is very interesting. Okay, emotions are zigging and zagging. What's going on here? What are signs? It's like you're coming in strong to someone, they're backing away. They're coming in strong, you're backing away. Like it's this push and pull energy, but you both want each other. So Spirit wants you to know to go with the ebb and flow of things. So... Make sure things are organic. Make sure they flow um, and be in that energy because that's what life is. That's what love is and it happens in cycles and I feel like cycles are coming up very um, very strongly. But definitely this water sign is wishing for you. Um, this water sign could still be in love with you or is coming up and they're like, they want it all um, very, very fast. Uh, it could be the air sign coming through again with the four of swords. Um and they may, you may notice some distancing after they sort of open up and tell you what's up, tell you what's going on on their end. So there's a lot to take in here, but um, 
I think ebb and flow is really, really important for you um, on to sign. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again, everyone. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and also please subscribe to the channel. That'd be amazing. And I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So much love and bye for now.